Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to set up a bullet journal for January of this year. I'm sorry this video came out really late. That's because I just started a new job and I devoted all my time to my work. So this month we are gonna set up our bullet journal as minimally as I could. I only use black paper and a white jelly roll pen for the header. Then I use some black and white grid washi tape to decorate the spread and I just add a sticker to tie everything together and that is it for my cover this month. The next spread is the monthly setup. I think this month's setup is great for someone who just started a bullet journal for the first time or someone who doesn't have a lot of time to set up or when you don't feel like drawing or decorating the spread because it's quick and easy also you don't need a lot of stationaries for this setup i only use a tumble duo brush pen to make the calendar i did mess up a little bit though i forgot to leave some space for the days of the week but it ends up making the calendar look more minimal then I use a small brush pen to make circles for the dates and I'll be using the white jelly roll pen to write down the numbers. For the header, I use a thicker Sakura fine liner pen to write January on the top. I use the same font as the cover page. I like that it looks clean and minimal. Then on the right side, I use a lighter Tombow Duo brush pen to make a space to write down tags for this month. Then I decorate the spread with some washi tape stickers and a rubber stamp on the bottom. And lastly, I just use this um, Sakura white jelly roll pen to write down the number of the days and that is it for our calendar spread this month. Our next spread will be the habit tracker. For this month, I want to try something different. I use a fine liner to write down habit tracker on the top. Then instead of making mini calendars, I make a horizontal type of habit tracker instead. So I wrote down the habit I want to track. Then I draw small circles for each day. I think the spread looks more clean and minimal this way. And as for a new habit this month, I want to start waking up earlier and I want to go to sleep earlier. That's because um, my new job started and sometimes I have to go to work at 7 o'clock. So I want to have a fixed bedtime and wake up time so that I have the same sleeping schedule every day. That is something I want to work on this year. So hopefully this habit tracker will help. I have some space at the bottom of the page so I add a quote and some decorations and that's it for my habit tracker. On the right side, this will be my brain dump section. I will be using this spread to jot down some notes or bullet journal ideas. Then when I have a chance, I will migrate them to my future log or my idea spread or I can create another um, collection page. So. Yeah, this is somewhere I think I will be using a lot this month. And after that, I just decorate with some washi tapes and make it look cohesive to my habit tracker. And that is it for this spread. And finally, we have this weekly setup. For this month, it is really, really minimal. I just use my Tombow Duo brush pen, the same exact color to make a little calendar here. So um, this month, I really like it because I don't really have time. And like I said before, this is great for someone who just started bullet journaling. So on the top here, I just wrote week one and I used this calendar stamp to stamp out the month. And I would just write down the date of this week. And as for the decorations, um, I used this day of the week stamps that I got from diawaflower.co. I'll be linking all the supplies I used this month down below as usual. Um, these stamps are so small, but um, it makes the spread looks very minimal and cute. 
and then I just add some decorations with the washi tapes and washi tape stickers um, I really like how it turned out and it was really easy to make um, the video just came out late because I didn't have time to edit it but yeah I had fun setting up and hopefully this spread would be um, inspiration for someone who just started bullet journaling or someone who doesn't want to spend too much time on setting up but yeah hopefully you guys like this video and um, please click like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and here's a final flip through for this month thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video bye bye